YouTube, Kilted Gunsmith here. I am rocking the kilt this time and my TAM hat. This is my Shenandoah muzzle loader. Um, I built this through uh, my class through Sonoran Desert Institute. Um, I've shot four rounds through it already. Full size muzzle loader, 50 cal. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a test fire real quick. It's already been primed and loaded. Got the cap right here. Let's see how she does. Hopefully I can get the full thing in the shot. Yeah, that's not good. Sound like it was a bad primer. I mean, they are tiny. <laughs> Worked that time. Bad cap. I knew I packed it down pretty good. So, go ahead and do it again. So to use it, if you never used a muzzle loader before, this is only my fifth time ever shooting one. So you want to put it on half cock so you can put the percussion cap on here. This is percussion fired. So I already got powder pre-measured and a bullet brought. So it takes 100 grains for a normal shot. You can go a little higher or lower if you want to. So. Just go ahead, take your powder, pour it on down in there. There we go. Bullet. Now you don't have to do a wad or anything. If you have a either, see this green part on here? If you have that on there or any kind of wad or something that's already attached to it, or sabo as they call them then all you gotta do is put it in here. If you're shooting ball, if you're shooting ball, you do need a filler or whatever it's called. I'm not very um, knowledgeable about muzzle loaders like some of you might be. And then you just go ahead and ramrod it down. Technically, you should be doing this with a bullet starter, but did they have bullet starters in the Civil War, the Revolutionary War, Napoleonic era? No, they were fucking ramming them down and crap, capping each other's asses. All right, so when you ready to go, you grab a percussion cap. Hopefully this one's not a dud. Put it on the nipple. It should fit on there nice and snug, but not too tight. And you're ready to rock and roll. That's kind of weird. I didn't have this issue yesterday. Of course, this is another pack that I've opened of caps. <sighs> Time. Worked that time. So, this project technically took me eight weeks to do because they spread the class out across an eight week time frame. But uh, I did it a little bit sooner. Um, after doing a little bit of reading, when you get a brand new barrel, you're supposed to, after every shot, swab it out with a rag to help get all the extra carbon and stuff out the first few times you shoot it i did that yesterday with the first couple rounds but obviously just now i didn't 
but I mean, I'm actually quite enjoyed shooting it. Um, the first one, I didn't know what was wrong with the cap, but the second one, it smashed in kind of weird. So, but it happens. Muzzle loaders aren't perfect. Any gun isn't going to be 100% perfect. You're going to have issues. Um, I did, it was quite a long process. So, the stock is only semi-finished when you get it. You have to inlet and sand, carve, shape, whatever you got to do to get the parts fit properly. It's snug, but not too loose. You got to put the mecha uh, hammer mechanism in, trigger guard, trigger assembly, butt plate, toe plate, barrel, the iron sights, which are actually quite nice. Brass front end. And then you got the ramrod ends. You got to put that in. That was actually the biggest challenge was to get these put in without the screws going through. But I ended up doing that because brass is softer than I thought. I knew brass is a soft metal, but I ended up going through. It's okay. I just backed it up a little bit and it works fine. And then put the uh, front end guard on it. I mean, it wasn't a hard project to do, but it was time consuming. Uh, I kind of wish I documented the whole thing on video. I do have PowerPoints on it for school, but uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you guys and gals next time. Ouch.